Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynez and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that March difficulty. We're still in the sewers below Novigrad in search of, uh, well, a way to get into the mortuary. Uh, because Priscilla has been attacked. Priscilla Dandelion's girlfriend has been attacked and horribly disfigured. Well, maimed mostly. Okay. And hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. And now we're gonna go to the morgue to the other victim of this uh, monster, of whoever it might be. Is that a crossbow? Okay then. But we're gonna have to go through a few drowners first. There we go. And there's a water hack. Same tactics apply. There we go. Taken care of, nothing that the drone is left behind. Okay then. It seems to be more. There we go. Priscilla. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. You know, pretty strong enough to fill that role. Nothing of interest here. Let's keep Quen handy though, just in case anything happens. Should be almost at the morgue already. It's actually really interesting for me as well, since I never had the storyline in my first nature. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. That would be very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Interesting, a dwarven woodcarver. I think he went in here. Yep, yeah, dude. Hello. Thank you. That's a woman. That's. Uh, looks like a witch hunter. Don't forget to raid all the cabinets. Anyone over here? That doesn't look like a dwarf either. Well, a lot of stuff to loot here. We might be able to find a use for pretty much everything in here. This doesn't look like a dwarf and woodcarver either. Because it's again a woman. So, anything else? Something we missed. There's a door over here. Still hoping we don't come across anyone. Um. This looks like one. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a no. bit. Start the autopsy. Well, I might, but. Head. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Ooh. Gruesome. Um, let's examine the eye sockets. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Oh, cool. Yeah, I lost the network again. Don't mind that. Don't need that for the Witcher, now do we? Look at his mouth. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Holy Just shit. like Priscilla's. Um, and the larynx has been completely cut out in this case. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. 
A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. Wait, he intubated so the, the guy? the wouldn't die too soon. Wow, okay. Um, let's head to the torso where his heart was apparently torn out of. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Um, chest wound? Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Yep, let's go in there. Blah. Yeah, okay, haven't you found it already? What the hell? An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So, either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Why would he replace the heart with a neck? Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace? Yeah, from a saw, probably. And his abdomen, then? Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogal up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than... Oh, acid. I didn't know Explains that. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. So, I didn't know that, I knew that formaldehyde was used to preserve organs, but I didn't know that was that acidic when you uh, didn't dilute it. Holy motherfucker. Hands! Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Wow. Story. This Some guy is time, uh, maybe. full of surprises. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Uh, legs? See anything interesting on his legs? Was that last thing genitals? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike Badoons. me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. A very morbid one. Genitals, okay then? His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages, no sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. <laughs> okay, Dan. That was uh, creepy. All right. That's every day. Right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Um, ritual murder. I don't... This was punishment. It's more... It sounds a lot more than, like, punishment. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Could Fabian be one of... Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Okay then. 
I'm glad you will answer my uh, questions. Wood Let's go straight five. to the point. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. Who the fuck are you? You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. Okay. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. <laughs> Not uh, through the sewers again. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Thank you. Hmm. Really appreciate it. Well, it could be one of Dandelion's other women. A jealous one, but why would she kill the dwarf then? It's kind of weird. Nathaniel, who is he? Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Hmm. Okay. Could have told me you knew the guy, the other guy, the, guy the, the coroner. coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Okay, then. Um... I decided when I've heard enough. Um, yeah. Might want to know what the trouble is there. I decide when we're done with this subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist. The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. Okay, thank what you for the information. Now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. That and guard is looking at us suspiciously. There, but I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. But thank you, Doctor. You! Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Okay. So, that's first... Go check out the corpse collector since he's still over here. Eustace. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. <laughs> you bring Smell. Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. No ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse, no. One of them? Um, collected other bodies? One of them. So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. <laughs> so, uh, you searched him? You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Okay, thanks. Um... It's time for my special skills. Talk. What did you find on him? I 
Oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded ring, handful of coins, and a letter. There's Lord, the ring. Vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Short of wench wenches like her. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Now. Asshole. Okay then, so we have two more places to go. Um, let's check out the place where the woodcarver died first. His workplace probably. And then we'll head to the alley where uh, Priscilla was attacked. Starting to look more and more like someone in the, uh, the Cult of the Eternal Fire did this since the Reverend is insisting on uh, burning everything. But hey, can I open this? Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sit me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much, lay down. Morning, morning. Slowly now, let's take bite you. Okay, thank you. Um, charming creatures. So you are. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. So Damien had hmm. a brother. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Maybe. Ooh. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Um... Anything you can tell me about the murder? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze. I found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Do they care about some dwarf? Poor man. So, uh, did he have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Nay, was Fabian who threatened this one last. Why, oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this? Dishrag. City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Oh. Okay. So that might mean we have another pest out of our hands. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Um. Okay then. It's weird that everything got burned Statues as well. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. So... Statues of the old gods, so that's... That's where Fabian lay when they found him. That points again to the eternal fire. Concerned citizen's sermon. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm within with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. That fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. However, whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the shame shall lose its life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. A concerned citizen. 
So, still thinking about the fact that it might be the Eternal Fire itself. The cult, at least. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. More That's probably the statues. to the other, repeatedly. Hmm. Weird. Anything in here? Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... Since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Thank you. Maybe there's something still inside. Oh, okay. There's another blood, blood stain. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood. Left a few stains behind. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. I'm not gonna steal anything from him, but uh, it looks like there's a blood stain here as well. Formaldehyde. Fabian used it. Yeah, that's the stuff that was used to uh, pour down his throat. Um, I'm gonna check the quest log because it just kicked over. Nothing in the quest log apparently. So um, there was something there that attacked him, but we're not any the wiser. So we'll head to that alley. It's pretty close by where Priscilla was attacked. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Another one. Tell me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Okay then. This is going further and further, but first I'm going to check out this alley here. Don't Very know what handsome. this. What? Wait, what? What are you doing here? So this is that smell of formaldehyde again, probably. Human. Priscilla's. Probably. A brazier. Like this time of year. Dave. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Um. Did she just order those guys come on, come to attack me? No, I'm gonna set you guys on fire, you know? If I can only punch you for some reason. That's it, you're in for it! What? So Whistling Wendy the is the one that's behind this, this probably then. Why can't I use Igni right now, as I could before? Oh, seriously? And then pummel him senseless. It's ridiculous. Think you got me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Okay. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. Okay, then spill it, bitch. Sorry for that one, but it's kind of ridiculous that I couldn't use my sword in that fight. Uh, you and Priscilla friends? You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring, pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, 
She was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, her dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Poor woman. But that doesn't give you the right to attack me just on sight. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Okay then. Um, so you didn't have much to tell me then. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. I don't know if I feel obliged for that now. So, uh, you have this scent here as well. Here, over here. Just fucking that damn it. Formaldehyde. As I thought, formaldehyde. Can I follow it somehow? What's this? Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Uh, Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Oh, there he went. And there's something on the wall here. And again, the concerned citizen sermon. Remember, good people, the light caused by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals every, each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape-shifting dopplers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses so adept at fooling the common folk. Not the loose women. The loose women who walk the street and fog men's mind with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and immoral magic arcane, cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts, and the eternal fire will expose for you all monsters and sinners, or else burn you too in its flames. So, uh... This guy is called the Concerned Citizen. But now I'm gonna have to talk to the coroner again. The coroner, sorry. To see what this uh, latest victim has in store for us. What's this? Another concerned citizen sermon. Uh, what? Why is it here? Remember, dear people, that a fire once lit cannot be stopped, that it consumes everything in its path and only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element, and if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your conscience, consciences and live in accordance with the church's dictates before the time for penance has passed. Oh. So this is starting to get weirder and weirder. But hopefully the the newest victim can tell us a bit more. Move on. Welcome, Master Witcher. Thank you. Hello, Hubert. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Okay then. Um, you didn't come out and Not get along with uh, Very Reverend Nathaniel? Are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, indeed. That sounds a bit sadistic. Who's Who is the, the corpse? Time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenford Academy. Found this morning at his home, 
on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Von Grad's told me all about you. Ah. Doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left Joachim the university looks and a lot work in the older than you do. None care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Irony indeed. Indeed, look a little young to be von Gratz's teacher. How old von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Or you're a vampire. Let's start. Since you don't age. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. With the, the name of the next murderer. victim. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Oh, okay, yes. yeah. Even went to her estate once with... Uh, three times already. Gotta find her, now. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Again to the Vagelbud's residence, seriously. I've been there more than I've been in Novigrad by now. Till next but hey, time, see you guys again at the Vagelbud's estate. Well, so by now this place doesn't really need introduction now, does it? So, uh, hopefully we get we got here before Patricia Vigilbutt was attacked. Um, knock knock. What do you want? Uh, need to talk to Patricia. Need to talk to Patricia Vigilbutt. You think any bum off the street can? Her life's in danger. Let me in, or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in. I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought you're already was outside to of the door, charge, so not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Didn't have to leave my weapons this time. Hello, Patricia. Patricia, okay. nice to see you again. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in oh. danger. Right, Patricia has the mother. Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. Um, I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our gods? He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, Ooh, follow this me. could be very horrible. Okay, and Grit, lead the way. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. Oh, that and could explain why she's a victim. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square. I said not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need she to lost her fate. Yeah, we need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. Mm -hmm. should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Well, if she's dead, she's certainly not in any mood anymore. <laughs> yep. Yep. He, he ran out the other door. Catch him! Wow. Oh, my God. 
Ah, forget it, forget it, forget the dogs. Spread out! Murderous still here! Wow, okay. I knew that was going to happen. Chase the murderer. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh no. Isn't he over there? God damn it. Seriously? Let's do this then. Okay, then let's do this. First need to kill those two. Halt! For I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Dude, seriously! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. Fucking dumbasses. Okay, this is gonna you, be but... horrible. It wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight at once. So we've got another Mother, horrible murder up at our hands. Why? Um. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good theory. Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? I don't even Bell. want to. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. This is not gonna be fun. Bruises, God. broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Let us hope so. Yeah, I don't really need to loot that now, do I? Or maybe... I think that's the next concern. Cit citizen Sermon. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path. Sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sinners alike, be they paupers, paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. Whoever breaks its commandments, whoever does not heed the church's counsel, Whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flame. Live then in the truth of the eternal fire. Listen to its holy men, for they are your shepherd. It is getting more and more gruesome. So now we need to go to Crippled Gates, probably back in Novigrad, I think, and find Sweet Natty before she is the next one. Hopefully we get there in time. So see you back in Novigrad. So back in Novigrad and at High Rock Square, there's another concerned citizen sermon. And since I've been reading all of those, it's apparently the same one as the one I've read before, so never mind. Hopefully I can get to Crippled Kate's as fast as I can, because uh, the bodies are piling up. Like this would fetch a fortune. Triple gates. 
And center, the brothel again. I think this is the same brothel where we fought the... Where we found... Where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Oh, for fuck's sake, seriously? So this is where we also found the succubus. Uh, get upstairs, get upstairs, get upstairs, get upstairs. <laughs> it is you, Nathaniel himself. Son. Holy you shit. The town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Oh, you are. Um, first I gotta know why. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Hmm. You never stop at that. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> what does she want to say? You're mistaken, Vagrant. Um, so who left the letter then? Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who Calmly? Be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's Hubert. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner Hubert. said you were busy. That you would visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day procuring supplies. Um, From dude. Don't think I'm I gonna forget this. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Uh, no. 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 Leave her alone. Now. Drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Sorry, sweet Natty. And um, sorry for those people that don't stand nudity in games, but that just happened. So, now we need to head back to the warehouse and confront um, Hubert, the coroner. Where do we need to go? How do we get out of here? Over here, okay. So see you guys in a second near the port. So I already had my suspicions about Hubert since uh, he looked a lot younger than he's supposed to be. So uh, he might even be something other than a simple human. So let's save. There we go, and enter. How will this end? Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. He is a vampire. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Already knew that. Got a reason for killing. He was a too young. To torture. Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. 
its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Okay then. You're out of your fucking mind, that's true. Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. And now it's time for, for you, you to die. I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm hmm But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Is he? Okay, there he goes. Vampire! Uh, I have vampire oil. There we go. Fire in the brain, fire in the head. Holy shit! I think that thing can teleport. Whew! He's a false little bugger. Get over here. There he goes. Level 19. Whew, that was a higher vampire. So Katakan Mutagen and the Arkdyth, or something like that. Then we didn't know how to pronounce that. Sapphire Dust and Brubido. Awesome. Uh there's another sermon, of course. A bit of loot. And Hubert Reich will probably have been uh, updated with the fact that he's a vampire. Okay. So that's the most important bit of this quest, I suppose. Well, first, let's go check on uh, on Priscilla. Hello, sir. And uh, add myself another ability point, right? So let's improve the secondary Erden uh, sign ability one more time. There we go. And now let's back, head back to the Rosemary and Time. Probably not, since it's already the Chameleon. Probably the uh, hospital. So see you there in a second. So a quest about torturing vampires. A vampire torturer who does so in the name of Faith. Well, that's something new at least. And his last note indicating sweet Nettie. Was well, just a diversion to. Uh, I'm gonna leave what that there. To get me to think that Nathaniel was the cause. Hopefully, I saved that poor girl from uh, any torture from the Reverend. But I'm back at the hospital, hopefully, Priscilla is doing better. We might as well tell uh, the doctor here that his former teacher was a vampire. Hello, everyone. How's better, right? Y yes. Ooh. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. And a lot of other people, I think. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? 
Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. I'm glad we could help. So that is... Carnal Sins. It's actually one of the more interesting quests I've played, I must say. And I was pleasantly surprised as well, since I hadn't played this one before. But hey, with that done, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you've really enjoyed the episode or any of my other videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'd really appreciate that. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.